When it comes to doing authentication in the context of EIGRP, it comes down to keychains. Keychains, keychains. So what we want to do is first of all focus on exactly what goes into creating a keychain and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable EIGRP security on my two serial links that are coming from data center R22 to both R2 and to R3. So let's authenticate these connections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on R22 and I'm going to start here by creating a keychain. I'm going to say config T key chain and I'm going to call this EIGRP underscore auth for authentication. I'm going to say key one and I'm going to give it the key string of IP expert where the P is capitalized and everything else is lowercase. Now do show history. Still not going to give it to me. Do show history. I hate that. Do show run begin key chain. So let's scroll up here a little bit and see what I can grab. Just want to minimize my configurational re requ requirements. So on R2, we need to do the same thing. Config T, paste, put that keychain in there. On R3, do the same thing. Config T, paste, put that keychain in there. So now we've got the keychain and the keychain matches. So what we want to do now is we want to enable EIGRP on these links. I'm going to start on R2. I'll take myself off the screen here and I'm going to go to my interface, interface serial 2.0, actually 2.0, yeah, two and I'm going to say IP authentication, EIG, or, uh, it'll be mode first, EIGRP 10, and the only mode that I have is keyed message digest or a message digest key. So I'm going to say MD5. Now the moment I've enabled, I enable that, what's going to happen here is, is notice my link goes down. It's going to say my authentication mode changed. Well, let's go over to R22 and go to the same interface. Interface S20 IP EI, or IP authentication mode EIGRP 10 MD5. Let's see what happens if anything. It says my authentication is down, my authentication mode changed. So let's make sure everything's kosher here. So I was on R2. Do show IP EIGRP neighbors. Let's see what we see. Notice I don't have a connection to R22 anymore. I don't have a connection to R22 anymore because I haven't defined any type of key yet. So again, let's go ahead and bring this up. I'll start on R22, where here what I'm going to say is I'm going to say IP authentication key chain, and I'm going to specify the key chain for EIGRP 10, and the key chain I want to use is going to be EIGRP underscore auth. Now what I want to do, do show run interface serial to zero. I'm going to copy these configurations out these two right here. And I'm going to put also matching configurations on interface serial to one and paste. All right, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut over to R2. R2 and R3 do the same thing. So interface serial to zero, paste it in there and go to R3, interface serial to one and paste that in there. We should get our links back up. Now the reason that we get our links back up is, is the fact that we've agreed on our authentication. And we're again sending this idea of message digest or MD5. Now there are other solutions that are available to us with regard to how we can make our configurations. But what we want to do right now is we're going to focus on the basics. And then once we cover all of the basics, we'll start talking about the enhanced mode. Something is referred to as EIGRP named operation, or sometimes uh, a lot of uh, companies or a lot of organizations refer to it as multi autonomous or ad multi address address family EIGRP configuration. So, with this being said, let's take a look at see what's going on and ensure that we have reachability in our environment all the way from R22. And so, show IP route EIGRP. I'm learning all my prefixes. Do I have reachability to everything? 172.16. 
1919, source it from my own loopback. Yes. We'll just hit two more. We'll say 2020 and 2121. And as you can see, we have full reachability. And now what I want to do is I'm going to do show IP protocols again. And let's just scroll down and take a look and see what we see now in the confines of our show IP protocols command. Well, we see the networks that we are advertising, the interfaces that are participating in the routing protocol. Notice here I have all of my configurations, but it doesn't tell me anything specifically about my configuration with regard to where, whether or whether or not I'm using authentication. So when we start looking at how this is being applied, one of the things that we can do, like I did before, is I can execute a show keychain, and it's going to tell me about the keychain that I have configured, but it's not going to give me anything associated directly with the config. So if I want to see what's happening with my configuration, what I need to do is I'm going to have to resort to a debug. So what I'll do is I'm going to say debug EIGRP packets. Now my debug of my EIGRP packets are going to give me the, or send me the information that's being exchanged across my devices. Now notice it's not sending, I'll go ahead and you all this now, it's not sending information with regard to the password. It's sending ND5 authentication and we're currently using key number one. Now this is going to be really interesting when we find ourselves in situations where we want to be able to rotate our keys in order to ensure that we have the idea of being able to refresh or to change our passwords without breaking our environment. Now one of the things that you're going to want to do if you do this is you're going to want to make certain that you have some type of time services running. Network time protocol being the perfect solution for this because then what we can do is we can ensure that all of our devices are going to synchronize their clocks as close as possible in order to make certain that we do not have a variation or a synthetic time situation taking place in our network so that when we do change keys, when we choose to rotate, we're going to rotate to the other key as close as we can if not at the exact same time. So with that being said, let's look at the idea of key rotation in the next presentation. I'll see you there.